Hi friends. It is September. We're back. Now, September, I love. It's a season of change. You know, the air is changing. The nights are cooler. Gosh, I went for a walk last week and even the, um, gosh, the leaves were starting to fall off the trees. Um, and everything was, everything's just kind of changing. But we know that what lies ahead is going to be spectacular, right? The fall is incredible. I, I know here in Canada, it's spectacular. Those crisp fall days. Um, and and sometimes those longer summers, you know, with the warmth into October, just like the seasons, change is inevitable. It's going to happen, especially as we age. So if you are, like me, a woman who's navigating this journey through menopause, then you and I have something in common. We understand the incredible stress and challenge that some of these changes can bring on us, right? Things like empty nesting, starting to reinvent ourselves, reconsidering our career paths, relationships start changing. Um, you know, we're you know, caring for aging parents. And of course, we're navigating all these changes in our bodies, the hot flashes, the brain fog, the mental belly, all the aches and pains, and so much more. And it can really feel like it's really just another weight on top of this already full plate that we have. So... <sighs> Menopause is a time when we often will stop and look at our priorities, our goals, our dreams, and we'll often look at embracing a new career path or some sort of adjustment to the path that we're on, really starting to get clear on what's important to us. So this month, I thought that uh, we would explore all, all kinds of different changes that happen during this time for us. Um, just exploring how to embrace these changes with calm and clarity and confidence. And so this week, we're just going to start with career changes. So to listen to today's um, video blog, and here's what we're going to talk about. We're going to be unearthing your values. You know, what's the foundation of your fulfilling career? It's going to be what's important to you. We're going to think about tapping into your transferable skills, because these will be your passport to this new path that you're on. We're going to look at uh, drawing inspiration and support from the environment around you, the network that you're part of. And then we're going to look at the small steps and celebrations that um, need to happen along the way of our path to success. Uh, but first, for those of you who don't know me, I am Nancy Brooker. I'm the Living in Yes coach for women navigating the challenges of menopause. It's a time of massive change of so many aspects in our life. But, you know, we really all deserve to feel empowered when it comes to our health, our relationships, our life goals, and really loving who we are becoming. So I hope you tap into your inner strength, let go of your self-judgment, so you can really trust yourself and navigate menopause with confidence and grace and really feel good in your body. Um, and find joy and fulfillment in your unique journey of possibilities. So when we're navigating this career change or even just shift uh, in our mindset in our careers, what are some things that are really important to be thinking of? Well, the first and I think most important thing is really looking at your values because these are going to be the North Star for any part in your life, not just your career. But we're going to talk today about it within your career. So it, just imagine that you're sitting having a chat with one of your best friends. You know, what is it that you're sitting there talking about? You're having a cup of tea, a cup of coffee, or maybe a drink, whatever. Um, are you talking about your friends? Are you talking about your family? Are you talking about your uh, creative projects that you have going on, your travel plans, vacation, um, things, volunteering that you would like to do, dreams that you have? You know, what is it that you're talking about? These are really good hints to what is important to you in life. And, you know, they might be centered about around creativity, autonomy, freedom, family, making a difference, whatever it is. These are your guiding lights through, you know, every change in your life, but specifically here for your career. So it's really important to sit down and make this list of what's important to me um, because we want to make sure that any shifts that we make are really in alignment with what's important to us, with what we value. So for example, take Michelle. You know, she was on this um, really corporate path, rocking the corporate world for years and years, but there was always this little part of her that was itching for something else. 
And one day she was having a heart to heart with a good friend of hers and it hit her that she was really interested in, you know, mentoring and guiding other people. Um, and that was her true calling. So she actually stepped into a coaching role and, and a training role and to really help other people realize their dreams and I was loving it. It was completely in aligned with her values. Um, and she found a whole new way to have a fulfilling career while having this great ripple effect for other, for other people around her. So values are like compass points. They lead us to a career that will really light us up. So values. Number two, what are your transferable skills? These can be like a passport for you to a new path, right? We all have skills, even though we're not always, uh, it's not easy always to acknowledge the skills that we have within us. Um, and it's really important to sit down and do some sort of assessment of what, what, what's, what is really good. Like, what do we, what do we do really well? You know, it could be your really good communication skills. Maybe you've managed teams in the past. You've presented to clients, you've written reports, you've, uh, maybe you've worked in retail and you've, you've been, had really good rapport with customers. Um, these are all really great skills for any career, marketing, sales, teaching, public relations, all of those sorts of things. Maybe you're really good at problem solving. You have a knack for finding solutions to challenging situations. That's a skill that really transfers into any uh, career. Maybe you were in customer service. Um, this experience could translate into, you know, client relationship sale, uh, skills, sales, account management, those sorts of things. Maybe you have good leadership skills. Maybe you have good time management skills. Uh, maybe you're really adaptable, creative, flexible. Um, you've done negotiations before. You're good at research. All of these things, right? Um, consider Lisa. She was a, a teacher, actually, and she transcended transitioned into a corporate training career. So still teaching, but she had always just wanted a bit of a different challenge. So um, she had really great communication and organization skills, and she was able to just transfer those skills into the corporate world. Um, so now she's able to really uh, educate and inspire people in that setting. So values and transferable skills. And so number three is who are your peeps? Who are you surrounding yourself with? Um, it's really important to surround ourselves with, um, you know, people who are nurturing and guiding and supportive and inspirational and who believe in us and who will help us to uh, really move forward in our journey. Um, so it's important, like research and talk to other women, ask them about you know, their journey, the changes they went through, what were their challenges, what were their successes, what tips do they have for you? You know, one of my favorite quotes, um, and I'm going to mispronounce her name, Molly Galbraith, Galbraith? <laughs> um, strong women lift each other up. And I just love that. And I think that that's something that we should all have as a mission in our lives is just to, to help lift each other up. Um, and so if you have if we have uh, wisdom to share, we should be sharing it. And if we have a need for other people's wisdom, we should be asking for it. I mean, it's it's a collective. We should all be lifting each other up. Um, so the last thing I want to say is that we should be taking it, these small steps and really celebrating the achievements as they happen. And I, I probably say this with every blog that I do, um, but I just think it's so important because it's those little steps that are going to lead to the biggest and most sustainable changes that we that we have that we encounter in our lives that we achieve in our lives um, and so embracing change and pursuing a new career, career path can be intimidating but those small steps chunking it down making it so that there are um, you know little things that we can actually do and and accomplish and feel good about that'll propel us forward onto this path um, are really important. And it doesn't matter, you know, it doesn't have to be a complete change. You know, maybe you're thinking that there's, you need something different in your career, but you're not looking to change your career. You know, consider a teacher that has really good writing skills. Maybe you just want to start writing for a community news newsletter or something, just to start doing something different and adding some, you know, using your creativity and your, your, um, 
writing skills, putting them to a different sort of uh, use and seeing how that feels. That might be that might be enough to just really f help you feel that fulfilling passion for, for what you're doing. That could be all that it takes. So those small steps are really important. So more than anything, remember, life shifts and so can you. Menopause is a groove. It's not a grind. So if you're thinking about a career change during menopause, four things. Check out your values. Let them light your way. Tap into your transferable skills. Um, really draw inspiration from the people around you. Let us lift each other up. And take those small steps and celebrate those small wins because they are the ones that lead into those cosmic leaps. Those are really big changes. So you can shape your journey with confidence. Let's work together to craft your menopause vision statement and turn it into a reality so that you can rock your relationships, stress less, and live in yes. Ready to begin? Schedule your free consultation now. There's a link down below. Meantime, remember, um, change is the essence of life. Be willing to surrender what you are for what you could become. And that's from Oprah Winfrey. That's another one of my favorite quotes. You are awesome and amazing, and thank you for listening. Grab your freebies down below. Uh, Seven Simple Ways to De-Stress, Helping Your Child with Anxiety, Developing Your Communication Skills. Um, come visit me over at Living in Yes. Join us there. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. We'll see you again next week. Take care.